there are pros and cons to specialties like this. So, for example, for endocrinology, that's one specialty now in India. Well, there there'll never be a dearth of patients. Absolutely, diabetes capital of number one. Yes. You will not have dearth of patients. Mm-hmm. Diabetes, thyroid, osteoporosis, something or the other, mm-hmm. PCO, fatty liver, even you know that also mm-hmm. is an overlap area. So you, there will be no dearth of patients. So you are quite comfortable that in three years you will have enough patients, you know, which will keep you busy and you will earn a decent amount. So the second thing about endocrinology is that you're not dependent on a hospital. So your investment is primarily in your clinic. So that is the advantage of endocrinology. The disadvantage is that you can never reach the financial, st- like if you're a top endocrinologist, mm. you can never be comparable to a top orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a top it. endocrinologist financially will mm. be comparable to a mid-level orthopedic surgeon. That's the nature of the job. So you have to take mm. a call of what you like to do. And so how- you cannot be frustrated by your surgical colleague earning much more or your cardio because they will. But you get a quicker start. And you know, there are, as I said, uh, you don't have often, don't have life-saving emergencies. Mm. Uh, there's less litigation. Mm, that's a good point. Yes. yes. So all those things are there. Mm. But it's a 24 <laughs> by 7 job. So those who think endocrinology is a light OPD specialty, no. If you want to succeed in endocrinology, you have to be available to your patients all the time. There is less job saturation. There is low investment. Yes. And litigation is yes, very low. Yes. So yes, these three yes, are yes, big yes. points. I would. I say. hope I don't get a suit filed against me yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, right. so far, endocrinology litigation has been very low. Has been very. Low.